What's going on guys? Thank you for watching. Cole Morse here, More Dirt with him in Mirthworks on in Southern Indiana. Um, from this point, actually technically September 9th, 2024, moving forward, I'm no longer do, doing free consulting calls. Um, I'm gonna start selling 30 minute slots for $75. Um, it's getting to where I'm too overwhelmed. So I, I thought this day might come. I wanted to offer the free advice as much as I could but I'll be honest with you guys, I'm getting 100 texts and the 40, 50 phone calls every day. And um, when I'm at home with my family, I want to be with my family. And it's getting to where it's interfering with that a lot lately. The last few weeks, I've been on the phone more than I've been with my kids. And I, as much as I want to help you guys thrive and grow and I want to see everyone succeed in business. And I, you know, I've got guys in multiple countries, multiple states. I talk to people of all walks of life to help them start businesses because I genuinely want to see everyone succeed. I genuinely Everyone has the same opportunities as the next man, the next woman, especially in America. You can do whatever you want to do if you just have the right um, ambition and the confidence. You can do it. And I believe that. I truly, truly believe that, especially when you got the good Lord on your side. Anything's possible. But unfortunately, I have the same 24 hours in a day as everybody. At this time, I physically, mentally cannot give anymore. I'm, I'm giving so much and I'm taking away from my kids and my wife and I cannot do that. I just my wife and my kids are everything to me. So I'm changing my business model a little bit. I'm structuring things different. So from now on, I won't answer Facebook messages, nothing. If it's about advice for work, it's strictly through my email, email me. We'll sign up a time slot, unless I know you. If we're good friends and I know you, carry on. But if you're truly just a watch, watch my channel, or you're a listener, you're a stranger, please follow these steps and I'll get back with you and we'll make something happen. So email me, I'll put my email below. Um, your first, last name, a bullet point, just a couple bullet points of questions that you have for me. A brief description of your what you do, what line of work you're in, what um, your goals are, and I will answer you um, thoroughly if I can. You know, and if there's questions you ask me or want to ask me that I do not know the answer to, I will email you and say, "Hey, I don't feel like this call is going to be worth your time and money, so I will advise you to go elsewhere." But from now on, starting September 9th. 2024 moving forward i am only selling slots no more free advice so thank you for everyone who watches and subscribes and um, hope you all have a blessed day like always god first family second work third oh boys another day one pump going two pumps going and uh, we're going to uh that little lane clear four-wheel rest side-by-side trail clear job today out here in the middle of nowhere indiana I plan to put a fuel pump in my house one of these days, a big tank, but for now, I don't have one, so we do the old Casey's two for one. This one just stopped. What's our damage down here? Only 34 bucks, that's not horrible. Let's make sure she's topped off all the way. Oh yeah. I know I use my wife's phone number for the Casey Awards, and I'm pretty sure we could own a Casey's at this point with how much fuel we put in there. All right, well, let's get this thing capped up, wrapped up. I'm going to go inside and get me something unhealthy to eat uh, because I'm in a hurry and uh, we're going to go get started. So let's hammer. Come on, chickens, get up the road. Come on. This driveway is sketchy. It's actually a private road. I'm chasing a damn chicken down the road. <laughs> get out of the way. I'm in four drive, but you gotta go. There you go. This driveway is sketch. I got put in four drive. I came back here a few months ago on four drive, and I thought I was gonna get stuck for sure, but it ends up opening up into a field way back in here. This is a dead end road, believe it or not, private drive, single lane. Speed limit questionable. Stays on there. I got to shred down. 
Well, not to let you know you're out of shape more than hitting a bumpy road and your boobs are just bad. My man titties were just bad. <laughs> well, I made it top of the hill. Now the gate's locked. So, I'm waiting on um, Rick, the owner, who's right behind me. He just pulled in to uh, unlock the gate. Well, it might be unlocked. I'll go look and see. But holy cow. Holy cow, it's gonna be a, this property's nuts. I can't remember how much property this guy has, but when I tell you we're in the middle of nowhere, we're in the, like that, I just went on a three mile gravel single lane driveway road, that's a road. So yeah, this thing's locked up, but this place is beautiful and I would do anything to deer hunt it, but I'm not there yet. So maybe by the end of this project, I've finished a bow hunt here, maybe. Okie dokie, unloaded, just went through and marked some trails with um, paint, so I know I'm going this property, I, I can't remember how many acres said, it's a lot, I mean it's 100 plus, I'm pretty sure, but I'm, we're going basically down this little cut back here, going to regrade essentially the entire existing trail system and make some water bars and shoot some stuff off left and right, and um, there's one trail that goes down this hill over here that's pretty gnarly, pretty steep, and I'm gonna connect it from the backside and come up the hill. So nothing too crazy um, today, but you gotta be careful. Anytime you're in the woods on a machine, you have to be so mindful of where your track's at, where your roof's at, where you're swinging to, you know, low hanging limbs, roots, rocks, etc. especially with the land lever with the teeth, you don't just wanna go barreling down through there because if you hit a root or rock, you can snap the teeth or stop the machine in, in its track, so. We're gonna let her warm up and um, I'm gonna unload the land leveler and we'll get to pushing.
right about an hour in here. Got a water bar knocked down here. Got this trail behind me all cleared and it's super dusty. It's not rain here. It's right on rain here, honestly, three weeks or more at this point. Super, super dry. Oh, it's a dog. I thought that was a coyote. It's a dog. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> It was a neighbor's dog. The neighbor's house is right there. So this is a neighbor's property right that there, which is super cool. But uh, I got this bottom part all graded out down here. I'll show you guys. Super rocky. Like that rock there is not coming out. So, but I widen this all up. And uh, this is one of those things that's always going to have maintenance. You're always going to have to maintain these trails. This is not a typical road. So I'm just getting to where he can basically have a place to maintain it but put a water bar up there i regrade this out so the water actually has a crown so now the water's gonna run down this side it's gonna shoot right through here it's gonna go right through here bam down there and then water comes through here check up down there so all this is cleared out and looking good got it all widened out for him so Basically, you can bring a Ford Ranger, like a, not not a Polaris Ranger, a Ford Ranger. <laughs> I have a truck down here now. It's wide enough.
right, so it's just afternoon here and I just made it down to this food plot. I got that trail behind me cut out. The thing was horribly eroded out right in the middle. So I had to really manipulate both sides of the trail to get water bars in the correct spaces. But um, somewhere over here, I think right there, I'm going back up and that trail connects to the top of that hill. So yeah, I got two trails fix and it's taken me almost four hours or no not four hours three hours so it's been a lot easier with a bulldozer but that dozer back here was gonna be tight and i have to take a lot of trees out so the sketcher's working i have the bucket and limb lever back here but this is his food plot at the bottom of the hill um got a mineral look somewhere down here but yeah this property is wicked i mean wicked deer sign everywhere i love the deer hunt here it'd be awesome so let's keep hammering Okay, so I followed this new trail. I thought I knew where I was going, and I'm officially lost. I'm literally in the middle of the woods. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where to go. <laughs> I, uh, my, my phone won't load, and um, yeah, we're way back in the woods. I think I'm going that way. I just don't know where to go this way. He said there was a trail that connects something to something, and I'll be honest with you guys, it all is so grown up. I'm stumped. I don't know where to go. Like, I think I saw where a trail went, and it's like, oh, wait, this all looks the same to me. So, <laughs> I'm clearly <laughs> currently in the middle of the forest. Lost is some, like, lost. I think that's an old trail, but that looks like an old creek now that's just washed out. I don't know if that was, that might have been the old trail, and it's just all washed out. Ouch sticker bush yeah this might have been the old trail yeah i think it is but if this is the old trail we ain't getting up we're not going up this there's no way there's no way we're getting up this yeah i think this is the old trailhead right here now this is just the creek bottom try to think so there's a cabin there so it might not be on this ridge. So there's a cab, I see the neighbor's cabin. So I know I'm kind of know where I'm at. So I came down that way. So it has to be either this ravine or the next ravine where the trail goes. So I gotta figure out how the heck to get out of here. There's not really any turn back either because the way I came up is sketchy. <laughs> Real sketchy. So I just gotta find my way and keep dozing towards the front of the property. Hopefully figure out where the hell we're going. So this looks like an old trail, somewhat, kinda. But then I lose it up there. It just looks like it gets real thick. Oh. And as the erosion looks, this looks like it eroded out quite a bit. Oh, this looks like an old trail. Hmm. It's gotta be somewhere in here. It's gotta be this ravine, it's gotta be this ravine. Or maybe it's on the next ravine. Shit, I don't know. Shit, I don't know. <laughs> oh. And I'm like, I'm gonna be honest with you. It's like an 18 minute skid steer ride to go back around, connect where I'm at. So I'm trying not to do that. Shit. All right, well, I'm gonna keep hunting. Keep hunting. See if I can't figure out where to go next. Okay, update. I found the old trail that goes through there. I think this is the right trail. Way a different route than I thought it was going because there's a ravine head that comes down here to the bottoms. There's one that comes down there to the bottoms. And there's one more there and the third one. So there's big three. Then I guess there's another one right here. There's four. So I was on the first one, which is way way there's a bump down up i was over there so i tracked all the way down here pulled those me a path and i somehow connected the trail here so i got turned around here earlier <laughs> and now i found this trail here so i think my gopro just died but i think if i stay on this way we're going to get us up to where we need to go which is way i mean you can't even see you can't even see where it opens up like we are so far back in the woods like we're i think this is like 180 or 200 acres i'm sitting on and I'm in the meat of the shit. Like my land leveler is 15 minutes that way. So I have to 
get the civilization and get back to the main trail, get my land lever back up the trailer, um, all within 90 minutes. So let's hope this works out. All right, update, it's been, I don't know, almost 40 minutes and uh, I found the top and there is the bottom. I connected it up top down low and um, I, that's, this trail is probably one of the longest trails I've ever been on in my life. It goes to the woods, I'll be honest with you. Like, besides being hiking somewhere like in Colorado or down Eastern Kentucky, uh, this is a long trail, <laughs> I mean, so long. So, I mean, it goes way down this hill, way across three ravines, down over up to trek, but we got her tied in, now we gotta make her pretty and put in her water bar so that we got checkups, you know, put in the water checkups. Just try to slow erosion down as much as we can, so. I'm almost out of time for a day, so either I'll pick up here in a little bit at that retain wall job, or we'll just make this one video, make the retain wall job a different video. I'm not sure yet, so. All right. Getting ready to go to that retain wall job. Look at this. Oh my gosh. That's, that's not actually accurate. I mean, it's like literally 75 degrees outside, so. Our trucks are set in the sun. <laughs> all right back on the retang wall job here looking for the power yeah a little hold dug but he's gonna climb down here we've got our footer established well, at least half the footer established we're gonna work real slow here and see what's up he's climbing down here he says shocker i put cory in the mini because he's way better than i am <laughs> so it's definitely more beneficial for me to pay him to run it than it is for me to run it. Pass the power, no more known utilities. Doing four inch over dig, four inches of stone compacted. We got the uh, flake compactor brand new, just got it. There. So we're gonna get our footer established. Use the 53s we took out uh, with a lot of lime. We're gonna use those as a footer and compact them. And there, the plate compactor, and then the material should be here tomorrow afternoon. And uh, we'll get to laying. Got the stone laid in the footer, got a four inch fill. He's loading the tamp up now, play compactor, or compact it down. And uh, this will be our stopping point for this evening. I'll pick back up tomorrow. Um, it's seven o'clock on a Wednesday. I've been going since 7.30 this morning at that land clearing job, that side by side trail job. So yeah, I'm whooped, but this time of year, you gotta make uh, hay while the sun shines. So more dirt, baby, more dirt.